ready. Go ahead and hit the computer. The plug. Time to go. So uh, back in 2000, Heidi and I took this uh, trip to Kauai, and it was it was awesome. It's the first time I had been to Hawaii, and um, it is the I haven't been since, but I know we will be going again. Um, the there were a lot of things that happened. We found this guest house that was awesome. It was right on the beach. Um, I'm not normally a morning person, but every morning I woke up by six, uh, hearing the ocean and ready to get up and take on the day. It was it was just awesome. Uh, the first thing that um, Heidi insisted on doing, because she had been a couple of times before uh, as a younger kid, and then I think again maybe later with her family, but um, one of the first things she insisted on was that our rental car be a convertible uh, because uh, it would be so worth it there to have an, a convertible and I'm sure glad she insisted. I would definitely recommend that to anybody who takes a trip to Hawaii. Um, just being able to drive around and always have the open sky, um, you'll be able to take in the fresh island air and uh, it was just it was incredible. Um, so, you know, we did several things. We um, snorkeled, we just hung out on the beach, uh, we drove around the island and took in some of the sights. Um, one of the, the main things we did was went whale watching. And I remember when Heidi first suggested we do this. She had uh, done this when she went on uh came to Hawaii with her family when she was younger, and it was quite memorable for her, so she wanted us to, to do this. And I was resistant at first because you go out on a raft, basically. It's a um, zodiac raft is what they call it. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I've seen these rafts for whitewater rafting. I'm, I'm a mountain girl. I've been whitewater rafting. Um, and on a river, that makes sense to me, but I have to admit, when she said that we were going to go out on one of these river rafts on the ocean, I was a little nervous. Um, I don't know, it just seemed to be so small for a, such a large body of water, and um, not only that, but to go out whale watching. I mean, whales... I'm sure a whale would be, you know, three times the size of the raft, so I was a little intimidated. But we went for it. She convinced me, and I'm always up for an adventure. So um, we made the reservation, and one of the coolest things was that it was just us. Uh, nobody else had booked a trip this, day, this particular day, so it was just Heidi me and the guide. So it was like kind of like a private whale watching adventure, which was awesome. Um, so he took us, you know, all around. They have a typical route that they go, and, you know, they have certain pods of whales that they track and all of that sort of thing. Um, one, of the, one of the ways that, that you look for whales is you lean, oh, they give you a snorkel mask and the um, breathing to, I can't think of what it's called, the snorkel thing, mouthpiece, um, and uh, you put you lean over the raft so your head is emerged in the water uh, with the mask and the uh, snorkel, and you watch for whales underneath your raft. Uh, I had never even thought that, that, you know, you would watch, look for whales under the water. I would always, I mean, what my experience has been is on those large boats um, where you would look out on the horizon and see, a, see whales, you know, uh, reaching or jumping or that sort of thing. Uh, so we would do this every once in a while. And it was, it was a challenge for me, one, because I've just never done this kind of thing. I'm not much of a, of a water girl that way. I don't have a lot of upper body strength. And so, you know, leaning over the raft like that, I had to put my legs up too. I couldn't reach to sort of um, uh, 
station myself. So I'm sure it was quite entertaining, and we have some stories about that process that I won't go into now. Um, but it was a lot of fun, and we ended up seeing three whales uh, go past right underneath us, which was incredible. Uh, one of them looked up, and I mean, it was like, it was just, I can't even explain how amazing it felt having a whale look, you know, look into a whale's eyes. It was pretty incredible. Um, so we did that, and you know, we saw several whales and um, at jumping and that sort of thing. Then uh, the guide took us to a, a special cove where it's a white sand beach, and we got to swim, and uh, we did some snorkeling. And I remember seeing a sea turtle. Uh, it, was, it was wonderful. So after the tour was done, uh, we came back, and we're getting ready to um, head back to our guest house in the... Uh, rental car. Well, we couldn't find the keys, and uh, Heidi insisted that I had them, which I did not. Uh, fortunately, um, you know, we're both pretty, we're both pretty easygoing, um, so we, we kept, we backtracked and kept thinking back to where the keys were. I remembered that she had them last, indeed, and um, that she had put them in her front zipper pouch on her um, uh, pullover like she had a little windbreaker and it had a um, zipper pouch in the front so we went to look there and lo and behold it was empty there were no keys there was uh, there had been change there earlier there was no change so after a little more thinking we decided or came to the conclusion that the keys had likely fallen out while Heidi was leaning over the side of the raft watching for whales. So the keys were um, probably somewhere out in the ocean floating around or um, had reached the floor of the ocean by now. Um, so like I said, fortunately we're both pretty easygoing. We, neither one of us panicked. Uh, Heidi found a nearby payphone and called the rental car company and asked for somebody to bring us a spare key. We got the feeling that this had happened before. Uh, they didn't seem too surprised. So they um, said they'd be out, they'd be right out with a spare key to just hang tight. And, uh, you know, we decided to make the best of it. It was about sunset. So we uh, uh, went over and there was a nearby picnic area and just kind of, you know, sat on a picnic table and we had a, a, a soda and just enjoyed the sunset while we waited for the spare key. Um, it, you know, in hindsight, it's uh, entertaining. <laughs> um, it, it's something we will never forget. Not only the whale watching experience, but also um, our little uh, struggle with finding the keys and having to have the guys bring out a spare.